Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and welcome back to another Adventure Time TV vlog. Today's episode is Red Starved. Now, this episode of Adventure Time is actually not that weird. Yeah, it's it's as normal as you're gonna get in an Adventure Time episode. In fact, it's it's probably like one of the most typical Adventure Time episodes there. I mean, because it contains an adventure, and there's not really any crazy twists. I mean, there's there's some things. I'm not saying it's a boring episode. I'm not saying it's a bad episode, but it's it's fairly by the book. Um, for, for how you do kind of like little adventure episodes in the show. Uh, so yeah, so that's, <laughs> I guess that's what makes it weird, is that it's not weird. Anyway, uh, I don't really have much to say uh, about this episode, because yeah, there's not, there's not really too much to it. Um, we find out that Finn is colorblind, which I feel like somewhere along the lines that, that's probably been like contradicted or something, where Finn's mentioned a color or something, I don't know, like described something as red that actually was red. I don't know, can you develop colorblindness? Probably not, although, then again, this is like the land of Ooh, where he could probably be cursed by a witch to not be able to see colors right or something like that. Um, but anyway, that's, that's a cool character trait to have on him. That's, that's different. Um, and and it, was, it was nice because at first she had this weird conversation with him and the, the monster thing, and, and first you think the monster's just being weird. Like, why, like wh it's just some weird joke where the monster thinks it's a different color. But no, no, Finn's colorblind. Um... So, it's also cool to see Marceline as a villain again. Um, or like a pseudo-villain, whatever. Um, it was kind of cool to see her go crazy. Like, especially with Jake, because Jake was initially the one who was, like, really afraid of her. Um, and then to see Jake kind of go crazy, too. Uh, it, it, it was interesting. Um, so I, I like that. And then, I mean, the entire, the setting of the, you know, the sand and, and the sand people and, and that were the people that were turned to sand and the, the under, you know, underground area and everything like it was great setting you know cool imaginative designs and everything um so that's cool just standard fare for adventure time though um and yeah i mean that's that's about it, it it's just it's you know it's it's <laughs> it's your very typical adventure time episode I, I guess um it's also cool that the the whole the pendant thing the, the crystal pendant uh that Finn uses to talk to Bubblegum returned again, because I think that was in at least two other episodes. It was in the other Tarts, and I think it returned in The Great Birdman. Uh, but it's cool to see that that's kind of like a recurring way that he communicates with Bubblegum, because uh, we've seen a lot of different ways to communicate in the Adventure Time universe. They don't really have one singular thing. Like, they have, they apparently have regular cell phones, but then they also have these crystal things that, like, beam messages into your brain. They have these crystal things that project, hol you know, um, holograms or whatever the... Like there's there's a ton of different ways to contact people. You gotta wonder how you give out comfort, uh, you know, your 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 contact information in the land of ooh. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, solid episode. Nothing nothing really crazy about it. Um, nothing else that really warrants mentioning. Just a solid Adventure Time episode. So with that, Pagay rules.